Hello, and welcome to Blend's Talking CMS series. Today, we're joined by David McNamee from Phrase. Thank you so much for joining us, David. Corinne, hello, and thank you so much for inviting us. Uh, we're happy to have you. Uh, so we can jump right into things. And uh, before we get into all the nitty gritty details about Phrase, let's start with a very basic question. What is Phrase? So Phrase uh, Localization Suite is a platform for managing and uh, controlling all of the different aspects of the translation process. Uh, so that can be anything from uh, very structured software strings that, that have to be highly controlled and, and uh, persisted uh, to uh, ad hoc documents that have no real structure uh, but need to be sent through uh, the translation process. And surrounding that will be all the tools that you expect to control workflow, uh, to provide reporting analytics, but also to apply uh, various localization technologies into the process so you can get the best out of both human translation effort and uh, technology-driven translation efforts. So all of the great advances in AI uh, that are being made are being pulled into the platform. So those uh, different pieces can all coexist in one place. Now, what makes Phrase different from other TMSs? A big part of that is the breadth of the platform. Uh, if you look at what we're providing in the Phrase Localization Suite, you would need to go to five, maybe six other providers to pull together uh, the, the set of capabilities that are inside the platform. So everything from a traditional translation management system that's geared towards unstructured content, your, your strings, uh, vault that is geared towards that structured uh, set of content that you see in software development projects all the time, uh, along with the uh, advances in machine translation, AI capability, large language models, all of that under one roof uh, is, is quite uh, an interesting concept to, to get to deal with. Interesting. I think what's very compelling for a number of our customers of late is the, the question about applying um, machine translation and particularly large language models uh, into the localization process. Um, we obviously, being a technology mm -hmm. company, are very excited uh, about the, the prospects that recent developments have provided the industry. Um, our view is that um, we need to be intelligent about bringing those tools to market and they need to be specifically driving yeah. translation quality. If it doesn't help the quality of the final product, mm -hmm. then it's not going to be particular, particularly useful, uh, I should say. And um, being able to balance machine translation, AI created translation with human effort is a very important discussion point. Um, yeah. Our tools, uh, the, the phrase language AI tools allow you to um, alleviate a lot of the burden about understanding the state of the market because quality shifts so dramatically from machine translation engine provider to machine translation provider to large language model provider. And that changes constantly. Uh, we're seeing data that suggests that some engines are getting worse over time, that some are getting better over time. So we actually manage and monitor all that for our customers and have an auto select AI built into our platform uh, so that people don't have to worry about that. They just have a cohort of engines that are always available, um, but then they get to decide when that gets brought to bear, uh, where that falls in with the the human element. And who would you say, when you picture, when you think of phrase, who would you say phrase is designed for? This is going to sound uh, ridiculous and, and very self-serving, but uh, for <laughs> most, uh, most organizations that need to manage their translation process and are quite serious about it, um, you will have uh, organizations that um, have a very complex process that needs to be managed. Uh, you might have an organization that has a large volume of content that needs to be managed and shepherded through the translation process. Um, you know, those aren't mutually exclusive customer sets for us. 
Uh, we handle a very, very broad range from the you know, smaller organizations that have a global reach and they need to have their content accessible uh, to the very, very, very large organizations that are just uh, drowning under the amount of content that they need to have translated. Let's say I'm a, a blend client and mm -hmm. I love, you know, working with my blend translators. I'm loyal to them. Can mm -hmm. I still translate my content with blend via phrases of platform? Absolutely. Of course we are um, not providing human translation services. We are the technology that enables you to connect the pieces. Mm -hmm. So human translation, professional editing, machine translation, large language models, automation steps, um, all of that can be combined with blend uh, team members, with your staff, uh, whoever needs to be a part of that uh, alongside the technology that's being brought in. So we are a technology vendor. Uh, we do not have any rules uh, against using a particular vendor or you must use a particular vendor. We don't bring that baggage with us. Now with uh, with Blend, mm -hmm. uh, I understand, and I'm not an expert in, uh, but there are some technology hooks that Blend uses uh, to uh, make sure there's a smooth yeah. transition and assure a very seamless experience uh, for customers who are using Blend uh, and Blend services. Uh, so we will be a part of that ecosystem where tasks are assigned uh, and things move through a workflow process. Um, and then on the TMS side and on the strings, side with phrase localization suite, you have the ability to assign uh, other people uh, to workflow steps, uh, whether that's blend translators, uh, whether that's your own staff, your internal people, you can mix and match as appropriate. Thank you so much, David, for speaking with us today. And uh, I appreciate it. And thank you for the opportunity to talk to your customers.